right, in this video we got the Honda GX120 and we're going to check the valve clearance. I don't know how this engine was ran before, but somebody was revving the shit right out of it. There's probably a pretty good chance that the valve clearance is out. Not only will having your valve clearance is set properly, increase performance, it'll also greatly increase the life of your engine. Plug. There's a couple things we're going to do first. The spark plug is going to come out, the valve cover is right here, four bolts remove that and we're also going to remove the recoil as well because we gotta have the engine at TDC on the compression stroke in order to check the valve timing properly. So as far as tools go, the only thing I'm gonna need is a spark plug socket, a 10 mil socket to remove this and on the side and your feeler gauges because the service manual says we need 0.15 millimeter and a 0 0.20 millimeter to check the valve timing. So let's start removing all this stuff. This is the valve cover, we're going to yank that off. So looking at the engine, since your exhaust, get my finger out of the way, so since the exhaust is up this side, it's pretty safe to assume that this is the exhaust, and then the intake with the carburetor comes through here, so this will be the intake. So we got the valves exposed here, and on the side, I removed the recoil, that triangle has to be lined up with this hole up top. But we have to be on top dead center on the compression stroke. What it basically means is that both valves are closed at TDC. So let's just crank it over. So I'm going to crank it over. The triangle's at the top right now. You can see the one valve opening up or coming up to the top. The other one is starting to open up. We're coming up the top. This is the compression stroke coming up. No valves are moving. Boom, we're right at the top, so now we can check our clearance. So the intake valve is supposed to be at 0.15 millimeters. So I'm going to take my feeler gauge, and we're pretty much dead on there. And the exhaust is supposed to be 0.2. I can get my feeler gauge in there, so that's good. But in case my fat fingers got in the way, We'll try to go this way. There we go, the exhaust right there, 0 0.20 millimeters. Well, both of my valves are in time, but however, what if you need to adjust it? What you gotta do is there's a jam nut underneath and there's a nut up top. So you need to put, on this engine, it's a 14 mil down there. And we got a 10 mil that's gonna go up top. We're gonna to put a feeler gauge in behind, we tighten it up. So I might as well show you how to do that so you guys know for future reference. So we're gonna put this wrench here. And we're gonna back that off. Now that so it's much easier if you take the feeler gauge out that you need to use. So I'm just going to punch that in right there because we need to have it. The intake's supposed to be 0.15 millimeter. So what I'm going to do. See the 14 mil, not the big one is the one that's going to tighten it up. So basically all I want to do is tighten it up by hand. You want to have it so that the feeler gauge can still slide it out. You don't want it so tight that you're gripping on it. So that's probably pretty good right there. So now I'm going to hold that right in place. And this is your jam nut. So I'm just going to tighten that up. Now if it's set right, should be able to slide that out and get her back in. Sometimes it's easy just to have the feeler gauges in there instead of having them in the little holder just don't make a mess out of them because that way you can adjust it and set it because if they can stay in there and you can still slide them out, they're set but if you can't push them in or if they're too loose that they can't sit in there 
then there's a pretty good chance that you need to set them up and set them to the proper specs. Okay, let's just fire this bad boy up and see how this sucker's gonna run. Adjusted. The engine's working perfectly. I think we're going to end the series here on this engine. Unless you guys have anything else you want to see done, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.